had a great find recently. A little while ago, my mum was cleaning out the very top shelves of the pantry where food tries to gain immortality and she was searching up there and then she saw something and she said, look what I found. And she took them down from the pantry and she said, it's been 30 years since I used these. When I was your age, my son. And now I suppose it's time that I pass them on to you and you can use them. Well, she, she didn't actually say that, but she should have. And I looked at the packet and I said, wow, coffee warmers, I guess that's nice. And then I looked inside the box and I said, my dear mother, this is the greatest gift you've ever given me, besides the uh, gift of life, of course. A great big box of old isographs. Isn't that fantastic? Now I haven't quite dug through this box yet, and I don't know what is actually in here. So we have a rotaring isograph 0.5. A reform 0.35, various nibs, looks like they're for the uh, the reform brand again. A nice looking empty box, some old ink cartridges, another reform nib, another rotaring isograph 2000, 0.35, the nib's a bit bent on this one though, there's still plenty more in there. A nice new looking rotaring isograph barrel, some reform ink cartridges which are empty, some ink cartridges which still have ink in them. Some black reform ink which is still inky after 30 years. Some red rotaring ink which is still inky after 30 years. Drafting Pro 0 0.25. This thing looks like a Frankenstein experiment. It's like bits of different pens. What even is this thing? Stadler, I think that's how you pronounce it. Mars 700. 0.3 millimeters, which has seen better years, and there's no nib. Okay, Stadler Mars 700. Hmm, doesn't say how big this one is. Another empty barrel for a Marsmatic 700. Another Marsmatic 700 with a undisclosed nib size. Another barrel for a Serenomatic. Another barrel for a Marsmatic. Hmm, this cute little thing of mystery. And there's still plenty more to go. Another isograph barrel, another reform nib, whatever this is. 0 0.35 nib, nib. Reform. Mars 5mm nib, another 5mm nib, rotaring 5mm nib, another Marsmatic nib, an old razor blade, whatever this thing is. Cartridge. What this is this thing? Thirty year old. 0.13mm, Stadler, Germany, nib, boring. There's much in here. Get it all out. Look at all of that stuff. So now I'll have to find some pens at work. I'll have to find some cartridges that I can easily clean the crud out of. And then I can begin drawing something. Isn't that exciting? Now because these are technical pens, I should probably try and draw something a bit more technical. I belong to a household which keeps pens for 30 years. Of course I would have also 30 year old or thereabouts popular mechanic magazines which I can use as inspiration for my technical drawing. Hmm. All sorts of things in these magazines. But what I find what I find in these magazines most of all is advertisements. And that is really ghastly. Nightmarish. Real dreams. Real people want real taste. May kill you. In my next video I'm going to draw a parody smoking advert which is slightly more, you know, honest. Radio Shack, look at that beast of a machine.
Ah, oh, something like that. That's what I want. Companies buy advertising out of popular mechanics so people can buy popular mechanics to read the advertising. And that's cool. It's just non-stop advertising. How did such a business model stay alive even before the internet? I don't know. So after much searching through that box of various bits of pens, I managed to find four which I really like. Except for this one, which I also like. But this one didn't come from the box. My mum gave this to me much earlier. And I've selected two Marsmatic 700, one in 0.5mm, and another in 0.18mm, another rotary isograph 2000 in 0.5mm. I've got 30 year old ink for my 30 year old pens. So I've got red and black, and I'm going to refill. With the 0.18mm Marsmatic, I had to actually make my own cartridge out of a disposable cartridge. I heated up the end of it with a cigarette lighter because it was slightly too thin, this disposable cartridge for it, so I thickened it up a bit by melting the plastic at the end. And it made a nice snug fit, and I thought, well, fantastic. It wasn't designed for it, but it seems to work quite well. The Stadler Marsmatic 700 will be getting black ink, the 0.18mm version. Seems to be coming out. I wonder if this ink has actually, all the pigment has separated. In fact, now the ink isn't coming out, I think I clogged it. A bit disappointing. Okay, I hope there's no large particles to clog up my pen. I'm going to put black ink in the Stadler 0.5mm. The black ink is not coming out. Let's risk it and just pour it out like this. Oh dear. I'm going to put some red ink in the rotary isograph. Let's try them out. The 0.7 millimeter. That seems to work very well. The Rotaring 2000 with the red ink in it. Not yet. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not as vibrant as I would have liked, but anyway, still pretty good. The Stadler Mars Matic 700 with the black ink. Not getting anything out of this. Just the black ink is just weak. I think the ink that I put in this pen is actually coming out. But the ink is just extremely weak. Let that be a lesson to me. You can use 30 year old pens and they might work just fine, but don't use 30 year old ink. The ink is basically invisible. That was a mistake. It's lost most of its blackness because the pigment has settled over a long period of time in the bottle. The reason why the 0.7mm works is that I actually put Sumi ink in this one, which is not correct. Anyway, I suppose now is a good time to actually start some drawing, which is was my original intention to begin with. So I did do some more doodling tests on the paper with these various nib sized pens and I was quite quick to discover that the 0.18 millimeter was basically unusable. I presume that nib size would have to be on incredibly smooth paper. It's just like scratching a needle across a rough surface. It's really terrible. But 0.5 millimeters is quite nice. So initially I did a bit of a pencil sketch. I tried using a ruler. Uh, twice I think. Then I just gave up and I just decided to just basically wing it freehand, yeah. Now you're probably wondering how my mum ended up getting all these pens. Did she buy them? No, she didn't buy them. 
So what basically happened was that my mum was a drafts person for one of the local councils. And back then, of course, they did everything on paper. And the paper was incredibly harsh and abrasive, the drafting paper. So they used to wear through the nibs of these pens and throw them away on a regular basis. One day, my mum just asked if she could keep the pens that they were throwing away. So every time she wore out a pen, she would just keep it. And I must say, some of these pens do work suspiciously well. Now, because the 30-year-old black ink was basically unusable, all the ink pigment had formed to a giant brick of hard sediment on the side of the container, which you can hear if you shake the container. I wish I realised that much earlier. I wouldn't have even tried putting it in. I might be end up putting large ink particles or something that might clog the nib. So I just resorted to using fountain pen ink, basically. Parker Quink ink. And the uh, fountain pen ink worked rather well, I must say. So as you can see by now, I just decided to draw a little three-dimensional, cross-sectional, barely operational flying machine, which was enjoyable. Now let's have a look at some details of this strange rocket-powered flying machine, which basically makes no sense whatsoever, but it was fun to draw. Uh, look at this wing. Oh, the, the wing. The wing's terrible. Let's let's, uh, let's let's look at something else. Let's, let's, oh, no, there's another mistake over there. Huh? Um, I will go just a gr grand sweeping shot, I suppose, and just uh, remember the good parts about it. Okay. 